This video is primarily intended to introduce users to the potential issues they may encounter during use, along with corresponding solutions. Its working principle is to pour water into the water tank, then conduct the water from the bottom water tank to the back of the ultrasonic atomizer, through the cotton filter at the top, and then vibrate the water into a mist for spraying. This white tube contains a cotton filter inside and spring beneath the cotton filter. The purpose of the spring is to support the cotton filter, allowing the top of the cotton filter to make full contact with the back of the ultrasonic atomizer, ensuring a water supply to the ultrasonic atomizer. Then, through the high-frequency vibration of the atomization plate, it converts the water into a mist for spraying. Okay. Now I'll demonstrate the potential issues you may encounter during use. Our product comes with only one USB power cable, so you will need to provide your own power adapter. Issue 1. After adding a sufficient amount of water to the tank and turning on the device, only the LED light is operational and there is no mist being produced. Alright, let's analyze where the issue might be. The occurrence of this situation is due to the user missing a step. During the operation, before use, it is necessary to wet the cotton filter inside the white tube, otherwise, the ultrasonic atomizer will not have a water supply. Even if you put enough water in the water tank, the water may not be conducted to the top. So what you need to do is thoroughly wet the cotton filter before using it. Only a wet cotton filter can effectively conduct water and provide a water source for the ultrasonic atomizer. Now, let's connect the power and turn it on to see if it works properly. See, works well. Now, let's turn it off to demonstrate the second possible scenario. Some users may accidentally dislodge the spring. When removing the tube, let's see what happens when the spring is removed. First, let's reinsert the tube and cotton filter without the spring, and then proceed with the demonstration. Remove the tube, and then with the cotton filter. Then reinstall the cotton filter and the tube. Please note that at this point, there is no spring inside the tube. See, no mist out. Why is this the case? The reason lies in the importance of the spring. The spring is a crucial component that supports full contact between the cotton filter and the ultrasonic atomizer. Without the spring, there is a significant gap between the top of the cotton filter and the back of the ultrasonic atomizer. So what you need to do is find the spring and reinsert it. Repeat, find the spring and reinsert it. Let's see if the problem is resolved now. See, problem solved. Now let's demonstrate the third scenario. During operation, users may not have fully inserted the tube. In this scenario, the user has wetted the cotton filter and the spring is correctly installed as well. Let's see if the product still works properly in this case. Yes, works well. Let's pull the tube out slightly to see what happens. See, no mist out now. We followed the instructions, wetted the cotton filter, and the spring is correctly installed, but it still doesn't produce mist. Inserting the tube fully, the issue resolves. Now let's demonstrate the possible fourth scenario.
The spring has a specific orientation. Users may have installed it upside down when assembling the product. As a result, the spring did not fulfill its role in supporting the cotton filter. See, the spring has encased the cotton filter. In this scenario, the product also cannot function properly. At this point, you need to remove the spring and reinstall it correctly so that it can support the cotton filter. See, the spring should be like this, providing resilient support to the cotton filter. Here is one more extremely rare scenario. Let's simulate the operation of the ultrasonic atomizer without a water source. First, we remove the spring and then we assemble the tube and cotton filter back together. At this point, the product will definitely not produce mist. In the scenario where the product is not producing mist, while it's powered on, but the user has not chosen to disconnect or turn it off. This can lead to the product still running. If this situation continues for several minutes, it can result in the ultrasonic atomizer getting damaged due to high frequency vibration without a water source. Let's reinsert the spring otherwise, in this demonstration, the product will get damaged. Now, let's demonstrate the possible sixth scenario. This is about users adding essential oil to the water tank. But the mist produced does not have any fragrance. For products that have a cotton filter inside, we recommend adding only 3 to 5 drops of essential oil. Adding too much can cause the cotton filter to clog, affecting water conduction. You need to understand one thing at this point. The cotton filter has not absorbed the essential oil. The essential oil is only present in the water tank. So we cannot smell the fragrance in the short term. If you want to smell the fragrance immediately, here's what you need to do. Pull out the tube. Wet the cotton filter with water. That has had essential oil added to it so that the cotton filter contains the essential oil. At this point, you will be able to smell the fragrance in the mist being sprayed.